Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create sub-processes on a second or third sheet very, very quickly. Now, depending on which version of Visio you've got will depend how you do this. If you've got the top version, you will have this tab, Process. So this is in the premium version. If you've got the standard version or the professional version, you may well not have Process because this is the area that I want to use. Now, first of all, I'll do it with this version, then I'll show you how to do it manually uh, in the other versions, the standard version mainly. So I've got a, a, a flowchart with like three lines of text coming down either side. What I want to do is I want to move this slot onto a second sheet. So you've got the thing highlighted there, block A all the way down to finish. You click on the process tab and then create from selection and then what you get there in the shape changes to a process shape a sub process shape and it also has a hyperlink if i click on the hyperlink with my control key down it changes to a hand when i click that it drops on to this second page now if i just name that block A for example because that's what this is block A and then go back to the first page I can do that with the admin I'll do exactly the same highlight the admin then there's my hyperlink it's gone on to page 3 I'll call that um, block C I think admin is Let's type that right block C Go back to the first page and then you've got these links there now if I double click on that I can change that to say what it is block C and that one is going to be block A so you know what that is and then there's a sub process there with the hyperlink symbol so that's what you can do if you've got the premium version however if you haven't got that version and you don't have this process tab you can still achieve it but you have to do it slightly different. So what I'm going to do is create a new sheet, call it block B. That's what I'll call this one, block B. And then back to the first page, highlight all the shapes, cut them, go on to block B and just paste them in there. So I've got them pasted in there. And then back onto the, the main page, which I'll call main. And then obviously I need a, a sub-process shape here. So if I get one from the stencil, I'll just line it up and um, just see if that's connecting. It's not connecting, so I'll just stick that on there to that point. Don't want it to do that. That's it. Now, I haven't got a hyperlink on this one as I do on these other ones. So on these other ones, you can see that symbol. I don't have that yet. So what I need to do is click on the shape and then create a hyperlink. So that's the insert tab and link. And it will give me the option to hyperlink. So the top box is for web addresses. This is where I need to be for pages in this document. If I click on browse, it's giving me the page names so I want this to go to block B block B and you can get it to go into a specific shape but I'm just going to click OK to that and then OK to that now if I just type on there this is going to be block B and then like with the other ones when I hover over it I get the hyperlink uh, symbol if I hold my control key down, that turns to the hand. If I click it, it goes onto this. So all of these have their, and I've got these in different wrong order. I'll just move that one so it's in, in that order, block B first. So there's no hyperlink back. So if you wanted to, you could create a link to go back to main, page main. Just browse main, yeah. And that'll give you that hyperlink back. I'll do that for 
dot b link browse main ok and then block c do the same thing uh, link sub address browse main ok so what should happen now is I should have the hand symbol when I hold my control key down a click takes me to uh, the main page and on each of these I can click and it goes to the relevant page so I've created a, like a navigational system flicking between different pages so that's all I wanted to cover on this little video how you can use the sub process feature in the premium version to automatically create you create a, a second sheet or how you can do it manually if you've got the professional standard version so just remind you if you haven't got that process tab you'll have to do it manually if you have got that process tab the computer will do it for you based on whatever you select so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one